like, how did you end up at PA? Was, did you know that from the get-go, or were there other careers that were considering? I kind of went through a, a long journey to get to where I am today. Um, in high school, actually, in maybe grade 10, grade 10, I think, I was looking towards business, actually. I was... The way that I was deciding on what I wanted to do with my life was what I could see myself as. And for some reason, I could see myself as a businessman. So that was my initial interest for some reason. And then um, I don't remember the exact moment or what caused it. There was a shift in my thinking, and I started gravitating towards sciences. And I think um, that stemmed kind of from the wanting to help people aspect. And I know a lot of people want to help people, but I think... Um, I sort of had this thought or idea of wanting to be that person who can drastically help someone in medical need. So um, sometimes, you know, in a hospital, people come to you at their worst. Um, they're broken. They're tired, or there's something wrong, and it, they need help. And I kind of saw myself fitting into that role and being able to handle that responsibility. Um, I think it takes a certain person, um, the right amount of empathy, but also the right amount of um, being able to handle the emotional toll that it can have to have someone in their worst of times relying on you. And I think I thought that I had that. So using that, I kind of thought that I want to do that so my kind of end goal became um, being in healthcare. Um, naturally, as most people do, the first thought was medicine or becoming a physician. So from there, um, I took the sciences, I took all the sciences that I needed and applied to sciences and kinesiology um, at McMaster and U of T. And then my journey began of kind of, okay, I'm going to med school, what do I have to do to to get, that to get that to happen. So I started taking all of the required, not the required, but the recommended courses like chemistries and bios. And it was kind of just on this one track in mind of I'm gonna to go to medicine and was chugging along um, first year, second year, you know, ups and downs of grades and kind of um, motivations. But it was still, you know, at the end of the day, I was like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make it there because I have to. Um, so I kept going and I got to third year, was still headed towards it. I wrote the MCAT after third year, and it didn't go the greatest. Um, and third year, my marks weren't also the greatest in third year, so that was kind of demotivating, but I still was pretty headstrong on trying again and making fourth year better and rewriting the MCAT. So, um, so I still applied just to get the, the process of applying and getting used to the... Um, what it takes to apply to med schools, um, but I didn't expect to get in because of my MCAT score. Um, but I applied, and in the meantime, I knew that I wasn't going to be doing anything next year because um, I wasn't going to get into any med schools. So I started looking into other programs and stuff, programs that were short in duration, so in case I did get in, that I could move on to med school after. Um, and so I looked into master, one-year master's programs at McMaster and other schools. And then I actually fell upon the PA program, and my friend mentioned it to me, and she said that the, the application is, you don't need references or anything, you just have to put in your, your transcript. And at the time, I was like, okay, yeah, that doesn't sound like it requires too much, and I've heard of a physician assistant before, so I'll just apply. So I applied, and then you get the, the email back with the supplementary application information, so I thought, okay, if, if I'm going to do this, I'm going to do it properly. So I started looking into the program and looking into the profession a lot more. And that's kind of where my physician assistant journey began. But to backtrack a little bit, um, after second year, I shadowed a doctor um, in an emergency department just to, get, um, just to get a kind of a view of what a doctor does there. And while I was there, I also saw a physician assistant, and I followed her around for a bit. And she showed me that she, she did some stitches on some people. She was just talking about the profession, but I didn't um, fully grasp it at the time, but I kind of thought back to it, and I remembered seeing her. I remembered how cool her position was, and I could easily see myself doing that as well. Um, so as I was doing my research, I kind of 
started progressing on this kind of journey of thinking, okay, you know what, maybe this is a possibility for me. Maybe this is, maybe I should just kind of pursue this. And I kind of made it a mission to, to either prove myself wrong or prove myself right, to either convince myself that I, I'm going to do med school or I'm going to do, um, do become a PA. So I started talking to everyone that I knew who was involved in the program, who, who is a PA, who, who got in and accepted, who, were, who got in and rejected the offer. Um, I was watching multiple YouTube videos, and eventually I um, got the MMI, and so I dived even deeper into it, and then I did the MMI, and then I got in, and that kind of rotated my entire world around because now it became real. And so I talked to more people, and I got to know more things about the, uh, the, the program and the position, and I was self-reflecting a lot, and I think that's what kind of, and what really was the turning point in the journey, the, the self-reflection, because I looked back to, at my initial motivation of why I wanted to do medicine, why I wanted to go into healthcare, and it was to, to help people who were in need of help, medical help. and. I automatically went to physician because that's what everyone goes to, but that doesn't necessarily mean that that's the only way to do it. Um, many people help people in need that are in the medical field, you know, like nurses and physiotherapists and respiratory therapists and physician assistants. And physician assistant is, they help them in many ways. They, they are doing um, a physician's job in a sense, and they are helping and they're treating and, and managing patients. So. Um, why, why not? Why? What's what's the takeaway from this? Um, so, I actually was in a, in a in a course in my second semester that um, we had to do weekly reflections in, and in the course was a work self and purpose course where you like dive into your personality and what type of person you are and what career might be best for you. And um, through those self reflections, I could see my transition from saying, "Oh, maybe this might be like the right thing to me," to like. I think this is actually the right thing for me. Like, I think PA is what I'm supposed to do. Um, and it's still a journey, and it's still a process of, of assuming this role and becoming this person. Um, and I'm going through it still, you know, up to today. And over time, I kind of fell in love with the profession. I fell in love with the advocacy. And I had a lot of reasons over time because I was learning so much about it. And so I guess to kind of sum it up, the other reasons that I chose PAs because I wanted to help people who are in medical need of help and that lets me, this profession lets me do that. I am a fan of the two years instead of the seven plus years, it sounds good to me. Um, I made a five year plan of three different five year plans. One five year plan was med school, one was PA and one was becoming a dancer um, that traveled across the world. but. In those five-year plans with med school, after the five years, I was in residency still. With the PA one, in five years, I had like a new car and a dog, and it just looked like a nice life, um, and a life that I kind of wanted to live. And I was working. So it, I, I enjoy, I value that. Um, I value working more than I value researching things on, on a computer. Um, and also the, the lateral mobility was obviously a, a big selling factor. I feel like I'm, I try to be a versi versatile, versatile person, um, bring versatility into my life. And I think having that option of being able to move to a different specialty um, was you know, pivotal in, in my decision as well because with being a physician, you have to redo an entire residency if you want to switch into a different position, um, into a different specialty. So I think having that as well was, um, kind of a cherry on top of everything else um, to, to realize that this is probably the best profession for me to be in. And in the end, also the, the work-life balance of, of being a physician assistant, um, depending on your specialty, of course, but I think that also I have a lot of different values in my life, things that I want to see, um, traveling and family time and dance, things I want to still make time for. I don't want my life to become my job. So all of that, all of those things kind of fit really well into the physician assistant program and into the job itself.